Hey friends, it's Heather again, and I thought we would start off this session by kind of finishing off what I started the last session. So we're going to um, find our angel image. Um, I just wanted to show you that this is the GIMP image file open. It's taking up my whole screen. I have my toolbox, I have my layers, and my brushes. Oh, interesting that it didn't pop to the front. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to go over here to the file. And I'm going to go down to Open Recent. Um, this is a nice feature of GIMP. It'll keep the last um, couple projects you've worked on um, in a list so they're easily to access. Um, here's our Gold Angel XCF, which is the GIMP file. This is the one we will use to work with because it saved um, our image and layers. Uh, here's our Gold Angel GIF file, although I really want to say GIF, but I guess I won't. Um, which would be saved as transparent and I could upload this into the gallery over at Bella's um, or you know somewhere else if I wanted to and um, put it on my blog if I wanted to and my background would show through and the angel would look as if she's sitting on top of my background um, and then here's the original JPEG uh, which I downloaded from the Graphic Fairy so usually when I use Graphic Fairy images um, with my projects I make sure to put a link in my blog about her uh, wonderful images so other people can use them and I usually do put the original image in there um, and then a link back to her blog. So I'm going to go ahead and select the XCF file and it opens up our angel image and I'm going to slide her into our window so that you can see her. I'm going to make her just a little smaller. There we go. Well the window a little smaller. And you'll see here we still have the two layers. I'm going to go ahead now. I'm just going to leave the background as it is because I don't want to do anything to that. I have our second layer. Um, I'm going to go on and create another layer. I'm going to scooch this over so you can see. So I'm coming up to the little window and I hit the layers. Layer menu. I could duplicate this layer if I wanted to and it would be the same. Or I can just add a new layer which is right here. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and just add a new layer so that you can be refreshed on how to uh, do this. Copy another layer. Okay, so I have my new layer box open, my window. I'm going to click OK. And so now I have a third layer. I'm going to go ahead and double click on it so I can name it now. And this will be Angel 2. And then hit enter so that my box is there. And now I have this box highlighted. All right, and here is a common mistake that I will do a lot of times where I will have just added the layer and then I'll come over to my image to copy it like we did on the last video. And I'll right click and I'll edit and I'll go to copy. And then I'll come back over and I'll click on my Angel 2 layer and I'll right click back on my image, edit, and I will paste. And then I'll have my floating selection, and I'll come down, and I'll anchor it, and then you'll see that there's nothing there on my angel too. And that is because when I um, copied, I copied my new layer, which was transparent. So you need to make sure that you highlight so the layer turns blue for the one that you want um, or that you're using. So I'm going to go back now. And I'm going to right click, choose edit, copy. I'm going to come back up here to my layers box. I'm going to hit my angel 2 and now it's highlighted in blue. I'm going to right click again on my image to edit and paste. And so now I'm going to have another angel and I'm going to know she's there because I can test it. I can scroll this down. I can turn this image off so you can't see it. And so you know you have this floating selection. All right, so I'm going to show you how some other tools work while I have her in this floating selection. I'm going to come up here to the Layer tab at the top of my Image window. So the image when you're working on it, um, I refer to it as the Image window. And you can have multiple Image windows open at one time. Like there's one back here, but this is the one I want to um, use. And if I wanted to, I could open another one right now, just right here, and it would open up another one. But I'm not going to. All right, so let's use, let's go to layer and let's decide to transform her and let's flip her horizontally. Now she's flipped. 
so um, I could anchor her down um, in this selection if I wanted her to be facing to the left instead of the right. Now if I decided, hey, you know, I really don't want her facing the left, I liked her better facing to the right, I can just go up to the Edit and Undo Flip Layer. So that's another f nice feature um, in GIMP is within this session, um, you can undo all the way back to like your very first steps, but that's in this session. Um, not the last session that we did, it doesn't um, carry over, even though the layers will, not your undos and your dos and things like that. All right, let's pick another tool to work with. Let's go over to the Move tool. You'll see it highlights its move. I'm going to click on it, left click once, and you'll see it's slightly depressed, which means it's now um, being used. And you'll see I've got this little crosshairs, and if I left click and drag, I can move her wherever I want. So if I had another um, layer, or something and I only wanted her in the lower bottom to create like a fancy piece of paper to use at another time then I could save her this way and I could anchor that way and only this part of her would be um, in our image but I don't want that so I'm gonna undo my moving selection I'm gonna undo again until she's back where she needs to be and I'm gonna come back over and I'm gonna use the rotate tool Hopefully you're able to see that I'll rotate tool. It's like a little arrow with two little tiny, or a box with little arrows kind of going around it. Come back to your image, click on it, left click, and you'll have this little rotate window show up. I'm going to move it over here out of the way. And then you just slide this bar, and it's going to rotate your image. You hit rotate. Now your image is rotated. Of course, I like to see your little face. So I'm going to go back up to edit and undo rotate. Let's scale our image. Here's the scale tool right next to the rotate tool. So I'm going to left click. Now I've chosen it and you see it's depressed there. I think that's funny that it's depressed. I have to come up with a different word because I don't want my image to be depressed. Um, I'm going to just left click on my angel image and you'll notice there's all these little boxes here. You can see them and that lets you know that uh, she's been highlighted. Here's our scale. And currently, um, the measurements are done in pixels. I like to work in percents, but we can see that she's 2.1 inches wide and 4.15 inches um, tall. And so I just want her to be about half that size. So I'm going to change it. Um, and now I'm going to just highlight that and change it to 50. And do the same thing with the next one. And then you'll see how she started to scale. You hit the scale button. And now you have a smaller image of the angel. And if you like, you can hit your move button. And you can change her to put her wherever you like on your um, screen, on your page. So I'm going to come over here and I'll go ahead and um, anchor her to the screen. So now I've got three different um, layers. She's much smaller in this one um, and only that one's showing up but there's a bigger one. And then here's my very original background. So I'm going to go ahead and save or close these both. And now since this is the only thing visible I could save this as an um, XCF. So let's see, save as Gold Angel XCF, which is already up here because that's what I was working on, and I want to save it because otherwise, the um, it won't save what I just currently did. So I want to make sure I save that. Do I want to replace the other one? Yes, because it's got all the same information, but now it's got a little additional. Oh, and hopefully you can't hear this, but the train is going by my house now, and everything's rattly, rattly, kind of funny. And I'm going to go ahead and. Um, in this now and pick up with another video. So have a great day. See ya. Bye.